What we're trying to say is Ameritech thanks you for your cellular purchase. Congratulations! As part of our Ameritech family, you're with the leading provider of cellular service in the Midwest. The services we provide were developed with you in mind. It's our effort to meet your individual cellular needs. A little later, I'll be sharing with you a way you can win 100 minutes of airtime, so stay tuned. This video has been developed to assist you in learning all about your cellular service purchase. You'll become familiar with how to use your cellular phone and Ameritech's home coverage area, roaming guide and area, airtime costs, billing statement, optional services, and cellular rewards. Most of what I'll be sharing with you can be found in your Ameritech Cellular Answer Book and Roaming Guide. I'd like to suggest that you keep both these books in your glove box for easy and quick reference. Generally, all cellular phones operate in the same manner with just a few differences. However, I do suggest that you consult your owner's manual for more specific instructions on operating your cellular phone. But for now, let's go over a few basics. Most installed car phones will turn on with your car's ignition switch. If your phone doesn't, or if you have a portable or towed phone, the first and foremost step is turning on the power. You won't be able to place or receive a call without having power. Simply turn on the power by pressing the power button, abbreviated PWR. Once the power is activated, the power indicator will come on and your phone will beep. This will take a few seconds. To place a call, dial the phone number and press the send button. In use will read in the display window, which means your call is being processed. When you complete a call, press end and the in use light will go away. If you forget to press end, your airtime charges could continue until you press end or until the power is turned off. So please remember to hit the end button when you finished your conversation. To receive a call, simply pick up the handset. Or, if you want to talk hands-free, press the send button. For towed phones, just press the send button. And for portable phones, open the flip or press send. Another feature on most phones is the lock function. By activating this option, you can prohibit unauthorized use of your cellular phone on outgoing calls. To activate, simply press your function key and 5. Some phones will have a lock key, in which case you only need to depress this button to activate the lock function. To deactivate this option, dial in either the last three or four digits of your cellular phone number, depending on the model. Or, if a preset number was established when you purchased your cellular service, then you'll need to use that code to unlock your phone. Now, if you'd like to store a number, first, turn on the power. Next, dial the number you're storing and press the store button. If your phone has speed dial locations and you want to store a number there, press the appropriate key. If it's not going into a speed dial location, assign the dialed number a two-digit store code. We suggest starting speed dial codes at 01, then on to 02 and upward. To access a stored number in speed dialing, just press the location number where it's stored. Now, if it's stored under a code, press RCL for recall on your phone pad, then your two-digit code number. The number stored will appear in your window display. Then press the Send button. This other button on your phone, CLR, stands for Clear, and pressing it will eliminate the data in your display window. By depressing the Clear button once, you will erase the last digit entered. By holding down the Clear button, you'll erase the entire entry. Now, to adjust the volume, you'll either have arrow keys or a volume button on your phone pad, or a volume control on the side of your phone. Simply maneuver those keys to increase or decrease the volume of your ring, the audio level in the earpiece, or the speaker volume on your cellular phone. The last operating function I'd like to mention is the AB selection. There are typically two cellular carriers in each service area. One operates on the A-band frequency and the other on the B-band frequency. Your cellular phone is programmed on the B-band. While roaming, you may need to switch to the A-band for cost-saving airtime usage. To do this, check your owner's manual for specific system select instructions. Music 
Now that you know how to use your cellular phone, let's talk about where you can use it. Ameritech is dedicated to providing you with quality coverage. Your home coverage area is highlighted in green. When using your cellular phone in these areas, you will be paying home rates and any toll charges that may apply. The service plan you've selected will determine the home rates you will be charged. We suggest you familiarize yourself with your home coverage area. Whenever you use your cellular phone outside of Ameritech's home service area, you are roaming. You'll see a roam indicator light on your cellular phone. Roaming airtime rates are established by the cellular carrier where you are roaming, and these rates are likely to vary. Your Ameritech welcome packet includes a pink roaming or travel guide that gives details on traveling with your cellular phone. It has an entire section listing by state and city the cellular carrier roam access code and the system operator. Now let's talk about the services available to you while you are roaming. The first service is Roam America. It allows you to use your cellular phone wherever you travel. To place a Roam America call, your Roam indicator must be on. In most instances, dial the area code plus the seven digit number you wish to call. Use this procedure for both local and long distance calls while roaming. To find out which procedure is needed in your current roaming area, dial star 711. To receive a Roam America call, again, your Roam indicator must be on. The person calling you must first dial the Roamer access number for the area you're in. These numbers are listed in your pink roaming guide. Afterwards, the caller will hear a second dial tone or a series of beeps, which is their signal to dial your cellular phone's area code and seven-digit number. The second traveling service available is Roam Ameritech. This allows you to roam in Ameritech cellular service areas without paying daily roamer access fees. As an Ameritech Wisconsin customer, you'll also enjoy reduced roaming rates when traveling throughout Wisconsin. Roaming airtime minutes are charged at reduced rates with no daily access fees. Remember that you'll still pay long distance or local telephone company charges where applicable. The green highlighted section is your home coverage area. To save money while roaming in certain parts of Missouri, areas that are highlighted in yellow, you'll need to be on the A network. You'll need to be on the B network while traveling in other Ameritech cities, areas that are highlighted in blue. While roaming in the areas highlighted in yellow and by switching to the A band network, you will pay reduced airtime costs and no additional usage fee. If you forget to switch to the A-band network in the area highlighted with yellow, you will be roaming on another company's cellular network. Therefore, the company will charge you a daily access fee in addition to higher roaming airtime rates. Ameritech also offers you call delivery service, which is a whole new level of freedom while roaming. You can have your calls delivered automatically to you in over 100 markets across the United States and Canada and this service is activated with your cellular purchase. Ameritech Call Delivery Service is available at no additional charge to you. However, applicable airtime, local toll, roaming toll, and long distance charges still apply to calls made or received while roaming. If you prefer not to receive calls automatically while roaming, you can deactivate this service by simply turning your cellular phone off or by pressing star 19 and the send button while in a call delivery market. Once deactivated, the service remains inoperable until you reactivate it by pressing the star button 18 then the send key. Now to receive a call on your cellular phone while roaming and not using the call delivery service option, your caller must know the city you're in plus the roamer access number for the network you're using. While all access numbers are listed in the pink roaming guide for easy reference, Ameritech's Roamer Notification Service can make things a bit easier. To activate Roamer Notification, simply press star 32. All incoming callers will then hear a voice recording indicating your location and how to reach you. With Roamer Notification, the caller will be billed for long distance charges. You will only be billed for airtime at the standard roaming rates. Remember, roaming information is available in most cities by dialing star 711 airtime free on your cellular phone. 
You can also check the back of your pink roaming guide for a complete listing of cities with cellular phone service and roamer access numbers. Ameritech has made traveling with your cellular phone easier than ever. So whether you're traveling across town or across the country, you know Ameritech is working for you. So far we've talked about how to use your cellular phone, your home coverage area, and your roaming options. Now let's get down to economics. Your cellular calls have two cost components, airtime charges and toll charges or long distance fees. Airtime can be charged in one of two ways. Home rates, which apply when using your cellular phone in your Ameritech home coverage area and roaming rates, which apply when using your cellular phone outside your Ameritech home coverage area. Let's talk about home airtime rates first. As part of your service agreement, you may be receiving some airtime allowances during peak and off-peak hours. Once those minutes are used up, you begin paying for airtime usage. If you don't use all your airtime allowances, those remaining minutes are forfeited. Your airtime allowance applies to calls placed or received in the home area only. Currently, these are Ameritech established peak and off-peak airtime hours. It's important to remember that you're charged for every call, whether it's receiving or placing the call, and for all long distance and toll charges. Also, keep in mind that you're billed in full minute increments. However, you're not charged for no answers or busy calls. Whenever you roam outside your home coverage area or another Ameritech city, you are a guest on another carrier's network, and these rates are likely to vary. However, generally you can expect to pay about $1 a minute for airtime usage, plus any long distance fee. Some carriers charge a daily usage fee if you use your cellular phone in their service area. While traveling within an Ameritech city and switching to the appropriate network, you will be charged reduced airtime rates and no daily access fee. Now let's talk about toll charges. Federal regulations determine where Ameritech can offer toll-free calling. Whether or not you pay a toll charge depends upon where you are when you place the call and what exchange you're calling. The exchange is the first three numbers of the seven-digit phone number. Check with customer service to learn more about toll charges. Ameritech makes every effort to simplify your charges so you know exactly how you're spending your cellular dollars. Let's briefly go over a sample statement. Statements are divided into three sections, the remittance and summary page, a section with details of charges, and an itemized list of roaming calls. What to expect to see on the first page of your statement is a summary of current charges, specifically monthly service charges or access charge, which includes your selected service plan plus any other additional options you've elected to include. Your first bill will also have a prorated monthly service charge if you signed up for service during the middle of the billing cycle. Airtime charges, which are a total sum of usage fees from the previous month. Local toll or long distance charges if you place a call from a non-toll free area. Roaming charges and other charges and credits. On your first statement you'll notice your one-time activation fee listed. Also, on every statement, you'll see a gross receipts fee, which is 5.6% of all charges, excluding roaming. The detail sheet of your statement will give specific information about your charges listed in the summary section. The last section of your statement gives details on your roaming charges. We suggest that every few months you closely review your statement and analyze how your cellular money is being spent. We welcome the opportunity to go over the statements with you. Perhaps we'll be able to suggest a more cost-effective plan for your cellular needs based on your usage patterns. Ameritech offers a variety of custom calling features that can make your cellular phone a personalized business tool. As part of your individual service plan, some of these features may already be included. If not, you may sign up for these affordable options at any time by calling customer service or star 611 airtime free from your cellular phone. Depending on your service area, the following options may be available to you. Ameritech Voicemail. 
call waiting, call forwarding, three-way calling, and detail billing. If it's necessary for you to receive every call ever placed to your cellular phone, then our Ameritech voicemail service will be a convenient tool. Ameritech offers two voicemail services. First is the standard option, where 20 messages up to 3 minutes in length can be stored for up to 15 days. Also available is the enhanced voicemail service. 40 messages up to 5 minutes in length can be stored for 30 days. With either service, you'll be able to retrieve messages from anywhere there is a touchtone phone and by using your private access code. A customized greeting option allows you to personalize and update your greeting as often as you wish. Another convenient service we offer is call waiting. Call waiting allows you to answer a second call while placing the first call on hold. When you hear a call waiting tone, press the send button. Hold on a second, Mary. I've got another call. This will place the first call on hold and allow you to answer the second call. Press the send button again to return to your first caller. If using call waiting, you will be billed for the entire length of both calls. To cancel call waiting on a call by call basis, just press star 70 either before dialing or while on a call. Another option for your cellular phone is call forwarding, which allows you to forward incoming calls to any phone number you choose. There are two types of call forwarding, immediate call forwarding and no answer transfer. Immediate call forwarding automatically forwards all your calls to another number of your choice. To activate, simply press star 72, then the phone number to which you are forwarding the call, then press the send button. Three beeps will indicate confirmation. To cancel this feature, press the star key and 730, then press the send button. While immediate call forwarding is activated, no incoming calls will be received on your cellular phone. However, you may still make outbound calls. The no answer transfer option will forward calls only when your phone is turned off, is not answered in two to three rings, or is busy. To activate, simply press star and 68, plus the number you are forwarding the calls to, then press the send button. Again, three beeps will indicate confirmation. To cancel this feature, press the star button and 730, then the send button. Three beeps will confirm that this feature has been canceled. If you'd like to have a conversation with two people at one time, then three-way calling is your solution. This option allows you to conduct a three-way conference call from your cellular phone. To activate, after you've made connection with the first party, press the clear button. This will put your first caller on hold. Then, dial the number of the second party and press send. When the second party answers, press the send button again to connect all parties to the same line. You will be billed for the total length of your call. Another optional feature is detail billing. For a nominal fee, you can receive an itemized list of home coverage calls you've placed and received, the date and length of the calls, and the time of day the calls were placed. Ameritech service and optional features will give you additional productivity power, any place, any time. As an Ameritech customer, you're entitled to participate in a special program. It's called Cellular Rewards. You can turn every dollar you spend on local cellular service into points, redeemable for free airtime, business equipment, merchandise, and travel. Best of all, membership in our Cellular Rewards program is free. You're eligible to start earning points today simply by calling 1-800-307-7000 or the star button plus rewards from your mobile phone. Another thing you should know about your Ameritech cellular service is how to reach us with any questions or concerns. From your cellular phone, you can reach us free of charge by dialing star 611 or call 1-800-221-0994 from a non-cellular phone. If you're roaming, dial star 711. We'll be happy to answer questions about any aspect of your cellular service.
Ameritech has built a solid reputation for providing extraordinary service to our customers. Thank you again for your Ameritech service purchase and for your time in viewing this educational video. Enclosed with this video is a customer reply card. We'd appreciate it if you would take a few minutes to answer our questions so we'll know how this video has served your training needs. As an incentive to participate in our questionnaire, by placing the number star 611 in the upper right-hand corner and mailing it back to us, we'll enter you in this month's drawing for 100 minutes of airtime. We encourage your participation, and we look forward to continuing our commitment to provide you with exceptional service. Thank you.